Well, finally done with my rig. Um, both of my GPU miners are inside of this box that I built out of um, OSB solar board. Uh, I don't really need the solar board because it's not sitting out in the light, but I figured just in case I was going to put it outside on the back patio, might as well get it just in case. Um, but uh, yeah, it's three quarter or quarter inch actually OSB. Um, I have a <coughs> filter system set up here. Um, filtration, cold air comes in here. Well, cooler air that's in the box. It's not really cool air. It's actually um, it's actually a really nice day today. But normally it's about 85 to 95 here in the uh, late summer days in Texas. Um, hooked up to a 3000 CFM Turbo Max or Max Air fan uh, that I got from Home Depot. Uh, I had to custom make a plenum because uh, the fan is 16 inches wide and um, the only ducting that I could really find for a decent price was 12 inches. So I made a 16 inch to 12 inch plenum. And it feeds up into the attic. Um, uh, hooks up to a collar up there in the attic. Um, there's more 12 inch ducting that goes out to a uh, vent in the roof. Um, but you see the power, I have the power cables that are around here uh, going to one circuit there uh, for one of the rigs and then the other is going up here. Um, I had to put the one with a little bit less power on this one because um, the garage door opener consumes about 180 watts. Uh, there's some other crap hooked up to the circuit too, but um, insignificant power draws on those items. Um, but I've got a. Each rig has uh, its own power strip uh, and Y cable hooked into a <coughs> smart plug um, so that I can monitor the power draw and also remotely switch if I need to. Um, for now, I have a uh, one of these shitty um, power lines, or whatever they're called. It's a D-Link power line switch. Um, it's it's really really crappy. Uh, obviously, it's on the same circuit that one of these one of the rigs is on, um, so it's it's even even crappier right now. Um, this is just temporary. I'm gonna run a I'm gonna run a permanent cable uh, down here from my from my router. Um, and then here's the other circuit, or other power strip right here for the other rig. Um, I just set up shelving last evening um, instead of having the monitoring crap on the ground. Uh, it took a, about 15 minutes to make this shelving right here that I got from Home Depot. It's perfect. Um, let me turn it on. <clears throat> I've got HDMI inputs from both the rigs and uh, wow you can see there that DCR is is lagging um, it's actually being really crappy right now the connectivity um, but the temps you can see the temps right there doing pretty good 61 63 54 uh, I think that's just because DCR is off, but they're normally sitting around 60 to 65. Um, there's kind of a hot aisle in the box due to the power supply venting. I have two power supplies in there for each rig, um, and those aren't really properly vented, so some of the video cards are are uh, a little bit less cool than the, than the others because they're sitting next to uh, the exhaust of the power supplies. Um, but you see here DCR finally connected. I'm gonna have to run a permanent line out here. This power line is just garbage um, uh, But yeah uh, 60 you see the the Right here on the right the hottest cards are 66. This one normally runs at 66. Yeah, see they're going 67 65 uh, and then anywhere from 59 usually these sit around 59 to 61 as well so, pretty good temps, and then <clears throat> if I had switch over to the other rig, 
mouse. There we go. Yeah, so we see here, uh, these are running fairly well as well. 67, 60, 63, 67, 59. Um, so those are pretty good temps here in a garage. Whether weather is about 85 to 95 on a late summer day. Um, let me pop open the inside so you guys can see. <clears throat> Here's the inside. Uh, this is the configuration I went with um, so that I have one direct path of uh, airflow. Uh, like I said, cold air comes in from the bottom, uh, filtrated, and then only has one direction to move, and that's up. Um, typically on most video cards, uh, where the power connector's at in the back, um, that's going to be uh, essentially your, your, your cool side or where you can send cool air into the, the video cards, and where the video connector side of it um, is typically the uh, hot, hot side. So I, I wanted to create just one, um, one direction of airflow uh, for these guys. Now you see here on the side, I got the motherboards on the side. I got the two power supplies, and this is what I was talking about. The exhaust is, is right there facing outward, facing the door. Um, I think it's just kind of accumulating here and heating up these cars in the front. Um, I think it's doing it for these two cards as well here. I just installed this other rig, um, so I haven't even monitored these temps yet. Um, it's been online for about 10 minutes, so, uh, but so far so good. Um, then I have the secondary power supplies in the back. I, I run two 750 watt power supplies instead of one 12 or 1300 watt power supply just because scarcity of the 12 to 1300 watts, and also it's a little bit cheaper. It's it's uh, you only have to buy like another eight or ten buck uh, dual PSU connector, or you can make one. Um, they're really easy to make, but I just prefer just to buy them uh, so I can return to Amazon if it's messed up or whatever. Um, yeah, like I said, this is a 3000 CFN Vammer, so that's at least what it's advertised as. I don't really think it's pulling 3,000. It's a really good fan, but it's pretty close to 3,000, um, and it does the trick. So uh, I got the idea, the, the whole box idea from Two Ton Hasher, um, but it, I figured I could come up with a better design, um, uh, just because it's a, it's a little bit hotter here in Texas, and uh, I think this design's working out fairly well. Um, like I said, the only flaw is these two power supplies. I need to figure that out. I'm going to just drill some exhaust vents here. I'll lose some pressure in the, the case, but that might make up. Uh, I'll just have to look at, look at it. If you guys have any suggestions, that'd be great. Um, but I set up these, these roll systems right here for the fans that, or the, the video cards to hang from. Uh, the, two, um, the two hangers are kind of offset. Uh, the first piece goes into a notch in the video card PCB board, um, and I, I went with that that location just to, to give it more stability um, for the card to hang from. And then you can see here, uh, I actually have uh, screwed in inserts uh, for the cards to, uh, for the, uh, cards to actually screw into. So th these are actually screwed into a metal insert, not into wood, so a little bit more secure. Um, and uh, you see the back aisle, the back aisle kind of hangs a little bit lower. Um, I figured that'd be easier to, if I needed to work on anything, it'd be easier to like get back there and work on them, but to be honest, you know, now I'm looking at it, now it's all said and done. If I need to do anything to the, one of the back cards, I'm probably going to have to pull out the front card as well. Um, so, uh, I don't really foresee that being a huge issue. Um, but yeah, this is this is my build and it's, uh, it's been pretty good so far. So, if you guys have any comments or suggestions, um, uh, just leave it 
leave it in the comment field. Let me know. Thanks.